Okay, this video is to um, give you a rundown of our initial results of the confinement tool for the middle fork of the John Day, as well as show you kind of how you can validate and score the runs for us. Um, so all the data you need I've put in a folder in Ignite. I'll send you the link to that, but it has this geo database that has all the um, all the feature classes as well as the results. There's this layer file to um, symbolize the results to make it easier to read and then there's this polygon file that's the polygons they use for the comparison of each of the runs and an Excel spreadsheet to do the scoring of the different runs as well. Um, so you can download those and then I'll pull them up here in ArcMap for you to see. Um, so there's uh, let's bring in the valley bottom first and we'll just give it a color scheme and then we have our bank full channel as well can bring in and just to kind of explain a little bit how the tool works so to calculate confinement, it looks for places where the bankful channel intersects with the valley bottom. So if we just zoom in somewhere. <clears throat> so it looks for places like this where there's an intersection with the valley bottom and the bankful channel, and it'll create a confining margin right there. Um, However, it's going to be underestimated um, if you use the actual bankful polygon because um, in a lot of cases it's just going to be slightly off like this where it's really probably confined but there's a little bit of a gap. So we buffered the bankful polygon and tried it with a few different buffer sizes. Um, the runs that you're going to be looking at were done with this 15 meter buffer. So anywhere where this 15 meter buffer goes outside of the valley bottom, it creates a confining margin and calculates confinement off of that. So there's those. Um, if we pull in our results, there's several several different results based on the different segmentation lengths. So first of all, there's one called um, confinement by segments and that one is just done off of the natural segmentation of the NHD so you can pull that in and then we did a 250 meter we did a 500 meter a thousand meter 1500 and 2000 and then there's also like I said there's a, a layer file so you can pull that in and use it to give the symbology to each of these. So if you just import the symbology from that layer file and make sure that the value field is confinement center line. That's the one we're looking at. Let's hit OK. And then it brings in that symbology. Um, so you can do that for all of them. I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so they're all symbolized the same way that off that confinement by center line field in the attribute table. And then um, there's the polygon. Um, I might have it in a different place. Here it is. Okay, so the analysis polygons. If you pull that in, you can see that throughout the watershed we've created some polygons that surround different portions of the network so that within each of those polygons you can kind of do a comparison of all of the different runs and give them a score of how well they're working so that we can determine which of the segmentations is the most is going to give us the best overall results um, change this up real quick
Okay, so now we're all set up here to look at and compare the different outputs that we got from the tool. So I'll show you the spreadsheet real quick. So in the spreadsheet, there's a different tab for each of the runs that we did with the different segmentation lengths. So this first one is the just the natural segmentation of the NHD, so we call it unsegmented. So there's this field here that's the polygon FID. So going back to these polygons here, the blue polygons, um, you'll just go through those one at a time by the FID. So if you open the attribute table, FID 0, if you just double click on it, it'll zoom you right into to that polygon. So boom, right here. And then on here, you got FID. So FID 0. So what you'll do is you'll give it a, a score, and the scoring is down here. 0 is poor, 1 is fair, 2 is good, 3 is excellent. So you'll just give it a score um, based on the river styling you did manually and, and your own judgment. And then if there is a problem, if you disagree with the output, um, these fields are all going to be Boolean. So you can just put true if you think that that's what's causing the problem. So maybe if there's a pro if the value bottom is not accurate and that's what's causing the problem, you would you could put a true here or if the bank full buffer is too wide or too narrow and not appropriate you can put that if the segment if you, if you think the problem is coming from too short of segmentation length or if you think it's coming from too long of segmentation length or if you think that it is because the NHD network is not aligning with the actual network very well or if there's anything else that you notice you can you can put a note here so if you just go through each polygon and kinda do that for um, each one of these runs then we'll end up with a good way to compare all of our different outputs and then I left this field here so after you've scored the unsegmented output um, for e in each within each of the polygons you can do a mean here and that way in the end we can compare the means of all of them to see which one has the the best score and then also we can look at um, where there's problems what what those problems are coming from you know which of these which of these problems is is causing the inaccuracies in the final output. So yeah, basically you'll just you can just pull up your attribute table here, and as you move through the different polygons, just just double click, and it'll take you to that polygon, and then you can look at each of the different um, runs. So this one that showed right now is just the naturally segmented. This is the 250 meter segments, 500 meter, 1000 meter, 1500, and 2000. So you can work your way through those polygons, scoring them in the spreadsheet, and just keeping track of it. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know.